okay find the total number of non-negative integral solutions of a plus b plus c plus d which has to lie in the range 6 to 16. Let us first get into the concept involved in this question. The concept is number of ways of distributing n identical objects into r distinct groups. Let's learn this concept using an example. We have seven candies to be distributed to three children. C1, C2 and C3 are the number of candies that we are going to distribute to the first, second and the third child respectively which should sum up to seven. Let's put down the candies now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And let's place two lines somewhere between these candies. One here and one here. Now, the number of candies that you have to the left side of the first line is what we're going to give to the first child. That is, we're going to give two candies to the first child. The number of candies that you have between the first and the second line is what we're going to give to the second child. So two candies for the second child as well. And whatever is left to the right side of the third line, second, sorry, second line, is what we're going to give to the third child, that is 3. But this is not the only way of placing these two lines. You can place them in so many ways. For example, you can place the candies and the lines could be placed here and here. Now the first child will get 0 candies, second child will get 4 and the third child will get 3. And there are so many other arrangements like this possible. So what does it finally boil down to? We have got 7 candies and 2 lines. So it boils down to number of ways of arranging seven identical candies and two identical lines. Does it sound familiar to any question that you have already solved? It is similar to this question. Number of ways of arranging the word letters of the word apple. There are five letters, so it is five factorial. And there are two letters which are similar, so divided by two factorial. So the question that we have in hand is similar to having nine letters of which seven are of one kind and two are of the other kind. So the answer for this has to be 9 factorial by 7 or of one kind, right? So 7 factorial and the 2 or of the other kind into 2 factorial. There is nothing but 7C2. Sorry, 9C2. What is this 9? 7 plus 2. 7, 7 candies and 2 lines. What is this 2 here? We had 3 children, so we had 2 lines. If we were to have 5 children, we would have put 4 lines, right? So the 2 is nothing but... 3 minus 1. So 7 plus 3 minus 1, C3 minus 1. Let's get back to the concept. Number of ways of distributing n identical objects into r distinct groups, right? In our example, n identical objects were similar, I mean, n identical objects were the candies and r distinct groups were the free children. So 7 candies and 3 children, the answer was 7 plus 3 minus 1, C3 minus 1. So in general, it would be n plus r minus 1, C r minus 1. This is something that you'll have to remember. Many questions could be asked testing you on this concept. So some of the questions could be like, okay, number of ways of distributing 19 candies to 7 children where each child might get any number of candies. A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 10 where A, B, C and D are whole numbers. A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 10 where A, B, C and D are natural numbers. So how do we do that? What's different in this question? In this question, A, B, C and D, none of them can take value zero the minimum value that they can take is one so what do we do here we give the minimum value to a b c and d first that is one 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 and one and modify the equation to a dash plus b dash plus c dash plus d dash plus four is equal to ten so it becomes a plus b a dash plus b dash plus c dash plus d dash is equal to six now a dash b dash c dash and d dash can take any values from zero now you can apply the general formula how about this? A plus B plus C plus D is equal to 10 where A, B, C and D are whole numbers and A is greater than 1 and B is greater than 3. So what is the minimum value of A here? 2. Minimum value of B? 4. So we will modify it as A dash plus 2 plus B dash plus 4 plus C plus D. So which is A dash plus B dash plus C plus D plus 6 is equal to 10. So that becomes a dash plus b dash plus c plus d is equal to 4. Now a dash b dash c and d can take any values from 0 to the maximum possible. So you can apply the formula directly there. Let us go to a question that is more pertinent to the question that we have at hand. How many set of values can a, b, c and d take if a plus b plus c plus d is less than 10 where a, b, c and d are non-negative integers? 
So what we can do here is we can include another value e such that the expression is equal to 10. So to make sure that a, b, c and d are less than 10, e should take a minimum value of 1. So e can be a natural number. So how do we solve this now? We give the minimum value of e that is 1 and make it e dash plus 1. So it boils down to a plus b plus c plus d plus e dash is equal to 9. Now you can apply the formula and get the answer. It becomes 13c4. Let's get back to our main question now. Find the total number of non-negative integral solutions of 6 less than and so on so on. Now we have already seen a question of this type, right? a plus b plus c plus d less than 16 times. But here we have a smaller limit also. So let's break this question into three parts. Number of solutions of a plus b plus c plus d less than or equal to 16 which we have already solved. Number of solutions of a plus b plus c plus d less than 6 which is similar to the first one so we can solve that also. Number of solutions of a plus b plus c plus d which is equal to 6 that is in the very basic type so we can solve that right. Now, So what are we supposed to do to get the answer? 1 minus 2 minus 3 would give us the answer right. Number of solutions of a plus b plus c plus d which are less than 16 from that if you subtract the ones which are less than 6 and equal to 6 you'll be getting the ones which are greater than 6. So let's solve this. So a plus b plus c plus d less than or equal less than 16 would give us the answer as 19c4. The second one would give us the answer as 9c4. The third one would give the answer as 9c3. So it becomes 19c4 minus 9c4 minus 9c3. But when you look at the options you don't have an option of that kind. It's slightly different. So what does that mean? This 9c4 minus 9c3 could be clubbed into 10c4. What is the property here? ncr plus ncr plus 1 is equal to n plus 1c r plus 1. So 9c4 plus 9c3 will become 10c4. So we get the answer as 19c4 minus 10c4. So option C is our answer. Hope you enjoyed it.